Hey everyone, welcome back to Clinical Physio with me, Khaled Maidan. In this video, you're gonna see either myself or my colleague Phil taking you through a real-time assessment of a particular joint. Now, the reason we're doing this video is so you can get a really good appreciation for the order in which you can complete your test. It will make memorizing the actual assessment a lot easier and it will allow you to have more time to think about your findings when you're going through it with your patient. In these videos, you may not see as much detail about handling or positioning, but of course you can go through our individual videos, such as knee active range of movement or shoulder passive range of movement to get as much detail as you need. All right, so let's get into it. So I'm now gonna take you through the objective assessment of the knee joint. And for the purpose of this video, we're gonna take our model's left knee as the affected side and the right knee as the unaffected side. All right, so I'm gonna take you through the examination of your knee now. I'm actually gonna be comparing both the right and left sides, not just the left side. So I'm just having a look at this one. Okay, I'll have a look at this side. All right, just having a feel of your right knee. Can I ask you to bend this knee for me, please? Thank you. Excellent, and if we bring this one down. Can I ask you to bend this knee for me? Thank you. Excellent, and we'll bring that down. I'm now gonna be double checking your hips. I'm just gonna come onto this side. Just gonna bend the knee here, and then bring your hip up towards you. Does that feel okay? Yeah. Excellent. And then we're gonna turn this way, and the other way. All okay? Mm -hmm. Wonderful, thank you. All right, coming onto this side, just gonna bend your knee a little bit, and then bringing the hip up as far as we can. Does that feel okay? Excellent. And then we're gonna turn this way, and then this way. Feel okay? Yeah. Excellent, I'll bring you down. Now, can I ask you to show me how much you can bend your right knee, sliding your heel as far as you can go? Excellent, and then I'm just gonna a little bit more, is that okay? Yeah. Lovely, and then we'll do this side as well. Can I ask you to bring it up for me as much as you can? Excellent, and then I'm just gonna bring it to the end. All okay? Wonderful. Can I ask you to squash my hand down into the bed? Very good, I'm gonna take it a bit further. Can I ask you to squash as much as you can? Good, and I'll take it a bit further. Excellent. All right, I'm now gonna do those movements by myself. I'd like you to relax as much as you can. All right, so I'm just gonna bring this one up as far as we can go. Does that feel okay? Mm -hmm. Excellent, we'll bring it down. And then we'll bring this one up as much as we can. Good, and we'll bring it down. And then on this side, is that okay? And then on this side, is that okay? Excellent. All right, I'm now gonna be having some tests looking at the different structures around your knee, like the ligaments and the cartilage. All right, I'm just gonna bend this knee. That's it, and I'm gonna bend this one as well. Thank you. I'm just gonna come around this side. Excellent. I'll have a look at this side. Excellent. For you at home, you'll see that I'm doing the anterior draw test for the uh, anterior cruciate ligament. You can also use Lachman's test if you wish. All right, I'm just gently pressing down on here. Excellent, and we'll do this side as well. Okay, and if we can relax your knees, please. Just looking at some of the ligaments side to side. Excellent. And then we'll come this way. Excellent. And on this side. Excellent. And then the same on this side. Okay. I'm now looking at the cartilage, so I'm just gonna start with this side. Just gonna bend your knee up. And then we're just gonna do some rotational movements as we come down. Excellent, and some rotational movements as we come down here. Excellent. Coming onto this side. 
and doing some rotational movements on the way down here. Excellent. And some rotational movements on the way down as we come here. All OK? Thank you. May I ask you to have a seat just on the edge of the bed here? I'm now going to have a look at the strength around your knees. So I'm just going to come into this position. I'm going to put my hands on your lower legs, and I'd like you to push against me where, where we can. So can you push me forward here? Excellent. And can you push me forward here? Excellent. And can you pull me back as much as you can? Good. And can you pull me back as much as you can? Excellent. Thank you very much. So that completes the main tests that we needed to do for the knee joint. If you wanted to take your assessment further, you could have a look at a couple of other things, including strength of the gluteal muscles. And you can also have a look at muscle length. For example, you can do a straight leg raise for the hamstring muscles, and you can do a Thomas test for the hip flexors and quadricep length. And that completes our real-time objective assessment. Once again, I hope that this video has given you a good understanding of the order in which you can complete your tests. If you want more information about the details of each specific test, check out our individual videos. For example, lumbar spine palpation or ankle resistive tests. Thank you so much for joining us once again on Clinical Physio, and we'll see you soon.